وَمْرَاتِبُهَا سَبْعُونَ The ranks of Tawbah are seven. فَتَوْبَةُ الْكُفَارِ مِنَ الْكُفْرِ The Tawbah of the Kafir is from his Kufr. And that's why the dominant opinion is that the non-Muslims are not accountable for the details of Sharia. Some say they are. Some of the Usul. It's a strong opinion. Both are strong. Some say they're not. And some say they are. So for instance, in the U.S., and this is important for us in the West, in the U.S., certain things that, the things that happen there, the non-Muslim people do, it's really not our business in terms of Sharia. We want to see a wholesome society, but we can't impose on them our values and our standards and our, because they don't apply to them. The only, their toba is to acknowledge God and the messenger of God and all the messengers. That's their toba. So they don't have to make toba from homosexuality or any of those things. That's, that, all that stuff is, is insignificant in relation to the essential state of not accepting Allah and His Messenger. Now, within their religions, they have their own set of standards and things like that. And their own religious people will take them to account for that or give them dispensations like they're starting to do now for all kinds of things. So that's the tawbah of, of the kuffar, is min al-kufri. Wa tawbah al-mukhrisin min al-dhanub wa al-kabair. The tawbah of sincere people is from sins and wrong actions. Wa tawbah al-udul min al-sagair. The tawbah of upright people is from lesser things. They don't do greater things. And the udul are the people that are uh, trustworthy, that, that can testify against people. The Prophet said, يَحْمَرُ هَذَا الْعِلْمِ مِنْ كُلِّ قَرْنٍ عُدُولُهُ that it's upright people that carry this knowledge in every generation. They don't do kaba'ir. If you see somebody who's doing kaba'ir, they can't be considered a source of anything trustworthy or something like that. And then, وَتَوْبَةَ الْعَابِدِينَ مِنَ الْفَتَرَاتِ The tawbah of devotional people is from just being tired, not having enough energy to do what is needed because they can't keep up with their devotion. So they miss their wird for one day. They don't recite the Qur'an that they usually recite. Their tawbah is from that, not doing enough. وَتَوْبَةَ السَّادِكِينَ مِنْ عِلَلَ الْقُلُوبِ وَالْآفَاتِ The tawbah of people on a path to God is the tawbah of things in their hearts, having a bad opinion of somebody. I'll give you an example. In Mauritania, and this is a true story, there was a man there, he didn't have his beard. He's a young man. A lot of the young men shave their beard. And he came into this. They, he was in this thing. And there was an old imam there, one of the ulama there. Very simple man, very humble man. And he, he, he looked at this man, and, and they made some exchanges. But the man that was with him who had brought him to... When they left, this beardless man, and this, who, the friend of his told me the story. He started uh, saying, you know, these old shiuch, you know, this is what's holding us back, and this is the tkhalaf of Mauritania, this is like the backwardness, and these, you know, they're just so pathetic, and this is going on and on, and just backbiting this guy. <laughs> and the next day, the old man went to find this man, he wanted to see the man without the beard, and when he finally got him, he, he took to him aside and said in private, please forgive me. He said, what? He said, I had a hard time sleeping last night. And he said, why? And he said, because I, I saw you didn't have a beard, and I just assumed that you were a fasiq. And I, I had no right to make that assumption. And, and, and I just want to ask your forgiveness for that. And that had a complete transformation on this person because he thought about all the things, the bad things he'd said about that man to another man and had no remorse for it. And this man was troubled by having a bad thought about him. And he couldn't sleep from it. So these are maqamat, and that's what he's saying about the people of Suluk. They're worried about their heart, the state of their heart, about what they're thinking about people, about hasad, about shuh. These type things. That's what's troubling them. And they're making tawbah for that. Imam al-Hatmi says that the first degree of wilaya is that you begin to do muhasaba of the khatir. 
uh, Ibn Asher says, يُحَاسِبُ النَّفْسَ عَلَى الْأَنْفَاسِ وَيَزْنِ الْخَاطِرَ بِالْقِسْطَاسِ Ibn Asher says that in this moving towards God, that you begin to take your breast to account, your soul to account based on your breast. So you, you actually realize your breasts are accountable. Every breath you take is accountable. And, that, and then you actually weigh your thoughts in the divine scales, whether the thought is acceptable or not. And that's what that imam was displaying, is that he realized that he had a suspicion in his heart about this man, and, and he wanted to ask the man forgiveness.